All right, 27 September, and I stayed last night in the Rock Spring Hut. Uh, got drenched yesterday, came stumbling in like a, a wet and cold dog uh, to where Julian, say hi to Julian. Hi. <laughs> Julian was like, dry and hanging out and had like got here before the rain started and all this other wonderful stuff uh so yeah and, and the worst part about it is yes i was able to get dry however i had to uh i had to put on all of my wet clothes this morning which is why i am shivering <laughs> as i record this video uh, I think Miss T camped like maybe five miles ahead. Um, and she said she's going slow. So, uh, we might be able to run into her today. Um, but, uh, no matter what, I got to get moving. Um, the, uh, the downside of being wet is yes, you're cold, all the things that you probably imagine. Um, but there's all these additional, uh, kind of costs. Uh, so I did change my socks, but to no avail, like the minute I put them into my, my boots, they were drenched through. Uh, so when you're wet, there's a couple other things. In addition to being cold and miserable and all this other stuff, you also have an increased, uh, chance of blisters. Um, you chafe. Uh, so there's like all these, like, there's all these additional fun and wonderful consequences of being wet. Um, I, 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 as the minute I start to move though, I'm going to warm up so I don't have to worry about that so much, but yes, um, blisters and all and whatnot on the feet. Holy crap. Can you tell the camera is shaking like crazy? I am shivering. I'm going to get going. It's not bears, it's not rattlesnakes. And if my mom was here, she'd tell me to turn around. Naked Hiker Day Adventure. Jeez, I just got this up. Actually, I again, I cried in the uh, It was a beautiful thing. Makes Every day gets Makes me full of cheer. Gotta love quick dry. I've only been walking for a little bit, and uh, at least my shirt is dry. Uh, everything else is still wet. And then, of course, the worst part is my feet are probably not going to dry out at all today. So, I uh, have to be cognizant of uh, trench foot when you're in wet conditions like this. Uh, it goes kind of hand in hand. I don't think I mentioned that earlier. Uh, I had trench foot before and it's not fun. So I get a little nervous whenever my feet are wet for any duration of time. In fact, that's usually my the point where I call no joy is when the last pair of socks that I own get wet. At that point, I'm like, forget this, let's go to town and dry out. Um, so it was fun last night. I got to the shelter and Julian, who's visiting here from Frankfurt, Germany, uh, was in there. He is uh, on his way to see his grandfather in Florida. But before he does that, he wanted to hike a little bit of the Appalachian Trail, specifically the Shenandoahs. <laughs> I'm so happy we were able to accommodate him with good weather. Uh, oh wow, beautiful scenery here. 
clouds coming up like rising from the woods um, so it's fascinating to be out here uh, one of the large demographics that are out here on the trail are foreigners and uh, and it's always great to uh, uh, to have that opportunity to interact uh, with the international community um, and specifically there tends to be a lot of of Germans on the trail uh, they they are a, a large a large group uh, out here the Germans love their Appalachian Trail um, and uh, it was fun talking to Julian and and uh, hearing his idea of politics and what his opinion is on certain things and also just a little embarrassing because he knew so much about what's going on in this country. Uh, I would actually say more than, sadly, more than most Americans. Uh, he, we, we had both just finished reading uh, Kissinger's book, A New World Order. And uh, so we were talking about that, which was great. I read it as part of my required reading. He read it for fun. So right there, you have, <laughs> you have a vastly different uh, perspective on things. I mean, so pretty, uh, pretty amazing, pretty amazing guy. He, geez, he, he didn't only know who Bloomberg was, but he knew how many terms he ran for. And he also knew a little bit about his policies. <laughs> I don't know if we were to like just throw that out across the US I don't think that many people would know that much detail he even knew who Brown was from California and some of his policies I mean really interesting guy it really puts things into perspective it makes you feel like you kind of need to step up your game a little bit uh, and it was great visiting with them. I mean, and, and like I said, this is one of the wonderful things about hiking the trail is, is meeting all these cool and interesting people from all over, from all different walks of life, different age groups, um, ethnicities, cultures, religions, political opinions, and just being able to sit back and and enjoy their company. Uh, it's it's great. Highly encourage it. And I'm glad that I'm out here doing it for that reason. I'm hoping to run into Miss T at some point today, although it's supposed to rain again and she has said that uh, if it rains too hard she's gonna she's gonna hunker down in a hotel room somewhere. Uh, which I might have to do myself. I'm like I said, I'm down to one pair of socks, and that's kind of my my point of calling no joy is once those socks are all wet, it's really hard to get them dry. Hello. I have to ask myself, are deer dangerous? <laughs> I don't know. Where are you going? I was about to interview you. She almost let me pet her. Almost.
I'd recognize these size fives anywhere. We're getting close to Miss T. Just ran into a, uh, a group going north and they said that Miss T is right ahead. So, a couple of minutes ahead. Tramley reunion. Pretty awesome. Miss T! Oh my God. How are you? It's a Tramley reunion. I'm good. You're like a man man. Oh my god. You just say hi to mom and hi mom. Everybody else out hi, there. Hi fellow AT hikers. <laughs> especially the ones that have finished. You bastards. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna turn this off. Thank you so much for watching this video. There's gonna be a new video released every week. So please subscribe and ring the bell. That way you'll know when new videos are released and I'll know that you're enjoying the videos. Thank you for watching.